Best thing about having one leg, twice as many socks. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tana Andreas, and two years ago, I got in a motorcycle accident and lost my left leg below the knee. This year, on my second anniversary, I hosted a leg making competition with all of my friends. No matter what they make, I made a pledge to attach it to my cup and walk on it. I'll be judging these homemade legs based on five criteria. Fit, function, style, which is worth double, because if it doesn't look good, I'm not wearing it. Completedness and added capabilities. I've been at the shop drinking all day and I've been seeing a lot of weird legs getting made. But which leg has what it takes to survive and win? Ted's Leg Making Contest! As you all know, two years ago on Wednesday, I lost my left leg. The dog got me, I barely got away. So thanks for, thanks for coming out to celebrate my anniversary with me and making all these beautiful legs. And let's hop right to it. I got everybody's name in a hat, everybody who made a leg. First leg, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> My first impression of the tire leg was it was gonna be very unstable and hard to walk on and heavy. Real fucking heavy. Did you get that right? So what? Ted's first impression of the leg. I'd say it's a working class leg. Blue collar leg. You know, just trying to get to work here. <laughs> so Matt, which way does it go? Does it go sideways or probably it? This is the people's leg, uh, you know, made of garbage. It did give a little bit of a Mad Max vibe. That's what you would do in a post-apocalyptic society is you'd make a leg out of trash. Right, now, now for every leg, I'm gonna do a test walk. I'm going to walk with every fucking leg. So, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Walking on the tire leg was really squishy. It was hard to use, but it had a little bounce to it, like a little trampoline. <laughs> Let's be honest, the tire leg was just a tire with four holes in it, and it still took him like three hours to make. Smells like burning rubber. I wonder why. Uh, can we get a big thanks to my prosthetic maker, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> behind the magic, who made this all possible. I'm tired of wearing this leg. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was just a tire. No one made that. It was just there. They put four holes into it. Yeah, I, I agree. That's true. Is that what makes the leg just the leg mean? There's just four holes. I like made a leg, you know. Next leg is drum roll, please. <laughs> There's literally a stream of water coming out of Andrew's ice leg sitting over there, rapidly decreasing in size. So I figured we should probably get that one out of the way before it just completely disappears. <laughs> the ice leg was probably the least usable out of any of the legs. Uh, it was literally a block of ice with a hole in it. Yeah, the ice leg scares me. There was no real way to attach it, so I basically just had to kind of prop my cup on top of it. I did not know about the ice leg. Andrew went through great efforts to keep it a secret because he said that he had the idea for like a year. I had this idea a year ago. But then he showed up like 30 minutes before the judging portion, so 
he only had a very limited amount of time to actually make the ice leg, which I think is why it was literally just a block of ice with a hole in it. Are you worried that your leg is gonna melt before the competition? Yes, incredibly worried. I knew that I was gonna be under a bit of a time crunch. Okay. And you know, here we are. You're doing great. He kind of wanted us to like stall the judging to wait for him to finish his leg. And I was like, Andrew, you showed up with like 30 minutes. <laughs> Come on, man. I just got ice. Cutest leg so far in this competition. Had a lot of personality. Uh, I'd say it was a crowd favorite. People really liked it. It's like a Pixar leg. It's like a cartoon leg. For who got the first inspiration for the worm? From well, we have a lot of drawings. Do you want to see our drawings? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, so we went from. Uh, so this is my evolution. I have cocktail first. And then Sarah had a phone idea, and then we were like, maybe a buff skirt look, and then business right here. Uh -huh. So that was that was like what we were working with. The worm looked very happy while I was using it, and if it were a real worm, I think it would be excited to be there, helping me walk. I think this piece really like encapsulates Sarah. First impression of the fart leg was that uh, I was worried I'd get a splinter. It had a vague foot shape. It looked pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they make they make self-inflating whoopee cushions, which is the media that he used to make this leg with. Is that your leg? It's almost there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you have in there? That there's, there's three. There's three. You got two good farts in there, though. I got it's just a couple. Of them. Wow. <laughs> they, they, they. Oh no. <laughs> Again, though, this was a crowd favorite. People loved this leg. Every time I would take a step, they would really laugh. <laughs> take a step. <laughs> it will never get old. <laughs> what was your inspiration behind making the leg? Well, you know, sometimes if you eat too many beans or something and you just have a lot of gas and you just like That's feel self-conscious about it, you could blame it on your legs. That's a good point. It's very practical. I guess that was a good point about, uh, you know, if I had the farts, I could wear this to cover them up. I should have worn it last night. I was at Devin's house and I farted and they said it made the whole room smell terrible. They opened all the windows. So maybe I should have worn it last night. I was honestly shocked at how, how walkable this leg was. This is actually kind of comfortable. Big dock on the score and functionality due to the fact that it broke while I was walking on it. The, the top broke off and, and that was it for that leg. Now the dangerous one. All right, next leg, drum roll please. Nyla. Oh, it looks great. 
<laughs> the beer can leg. Well, Dylan was one of the first people to show up. He was really struggling to find inspiration for this leg. It was inspired by uh, people getting drunk. I'm honestly not much of a Pacifico guy. You know, I enjoy them when I have them, but it's not something that I usually buy. I probably would have made it on a weight claw. Okay, attention please. <laughs> Dylan, what's this one called? Uh, foaming at the leg. Foaming at the leg. <laughs> All right. The alignment is very good. <laughs> this leg was actually pretty walkable. Because the alignment was so good on this leg, I was able to do a couple spins, you know, a couple twirly boys while I was walking around just to, uh, to flex on everybody. And it's kind of nice to have a peg leg. You can do spins like that, you know, like a, like a dreidel. I like this one. It's nice and lightweight. Feels fast. I was able to perform some quick kicks with it. <laughs> Oh, it's still got some beer in it. <laughs> so how did you feel about your leg? Uh, I'm pretty happy. It didn't fall apart. The beers didn't fall off. Made it in two hours. It's pretty, pretty good. Did you drink all the beers? No, I got help. She helped. The hair leg was one of the weirder of the legs. It was really well made. Oh, I see. Scarlett is a woodworker by profession, so she she really uh, sculpted that thing. So On the completedness scale, I'd say that hers was one of the most finished products of the legs that were made. Chad has a really lot of great attributes. However, he is hairless, so I thought he might, um, you know, really want to know what it's like to be hairy. This is his opportunity. Well, I've been hairless all of my life. That's why I grow my hair on my head so long, to compensate for the lack of hair on the rest of my body. I only found out I could grow a mustache when I was in the hospital and I didn't shave for a month. This is the hairiest I've ever been. I guess this is the leg that I never had. It really made me feel machismo, you know, a real man's man. A feeling that I've been chasing all of my life. And it really fulfilled some deep-seated fantasies that I've had about having a hairy leg. I think I'd wear this leg if I was going out on the town, maybe going to the club. It made me feel like a real man. Round of applause! Yeah, good job, Charlotte. I mean, there's a lot of really great contenders out there. Hi, my name is Zach, I made the potato gun leg. I made potato guns before, but they're always a lot bigger. It's kind of hard to get the right fuel mixture so that it would actually blast. I'm feeling pretty frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. It'll work, but just really inconsistent. That's why I don't say that. So try to hit your heel right there. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. No. It ended up falling off, so that's a, a strike for the uh, functionality portion. <laughs> it doesn't actually fire every time. We'll, we'll make it happen. I was a little afraid to shoot the potato gun leg. I wasn't sure if it would blow up or something. Wouldn't go off. Not a reliable gun leg. It's like one of those things that only works when not everybody is looking at it, I guess. I don't know. And then, you know, sometime later, we heard it go off in the background. <laughs> is that leg comfortable? Yeah. And the next leg is... Josh, again! It was this weird cross on the end of a wood stick with one caster on the bottom, one little wheel. I definitely wore the helmet while I was trying this leg. Uh, here goes nothing. The danger leg. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Danger leg. Given that he called it the danger leg, I think it was intentionally meant to be hard to wear. Maybe it was even intentionally made to hurt me. It's called the danger leg. Yeah, this is like the next segue. 
is gonna replace the Segway. I was honestly afraid to take a step with this leg. I was really worried that it would break or I'd fall over, slide out, and then I wouldn't be able to try on any of the other legs because I was morbidly injured. Once I got used to it, it wasn't as dangerous as I thought it would be. You know, I was kind of sliding around. It reminded me of Heelys. Remember when you'd go to the mall and you'd buy Heelys so you could ride them at Six Flags? That's kind of what this leg reminded me of. Wow, you made it through the, you survived the danger leg. That's crazy. On to the next leg. I'm Adrian, and I brought a gun leg to a leg party. And then you have to Oh, yeah. So Ted was always ahead, and now he's kind of got, he's a step behind. So now he can catch up by having people behind the ankles, you know? And then he'll be able to catch up again. And then he'll be ahead. So, yeah. so you want Ted to shoot people in the back so that he can be ahead of them in a race? Yes. Okay. But it does work. Yeah. They're all danger legs. My first impression of the gun leg, I was just hyped. There we go. All right. Yeah, a pellet gun leg. I saw what he was doing. I was stoked. I saw Adrian making it throughout the day. He did a really good job making it. The, the construction and the way that he welded on this tube on top of the gun to provide structural support, he did a really good job with the design. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? Hey! Wow, that looks so good. Whoa, pretty sick. The leg was extremely lightweight, you know, really easy to walk with. Wouldn't tire me out. Because of that too, I could kick the leg really quickly, like a like fastest gun in the West sort of thing. That felt pretty good to be the fastest gun in the West. Oh my God! Ah! I think that I could accurately aim and shoot my leg gun uh, if I needed to. It seemed really durable. Uh, I could tell that it was going to be uh, one of the more safe of the legs that I was going to wear. Everybody, stay cool. It's no rubbery. <laughs> so I really, I really like the way that leg looked. Do I think that I could rob a bank with the gun leg? Absolutely not. At best, a liquor store. Next leg. Cody, come on down. It is a fin leg, so that's nice, because I used to go scuba diving, but at this point, you know, I just swim in a circle, because you have to kick with your feet. And... You want to explain the inspiration behind these legs, Cody? It's um, <laughs> really designed to be the best swimming capability. I don't know about land walking. Okay. Yeah, fun <laughs> bad walkers. Yeah. And then this one is for LARPing. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm not sure about the walking, but it's a great weapon when you need it. It didn't really attach to my cup, so I had to hold it on there. He did get docked for functionality. Not super functional as a leg. Hello. <laughs> right, let's, try, let's try the other one on. Let's see. So this is kind of like a, like a battle tool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's basically a mace, you know, like a medieval weapon. So that was pretty cool. Battle leg. Battle leg. Yeah. Battle leg. Yeah, you know, for oh, LARPing. Yeah. I mean, I might as well start LARPing. What have I got to lose? Oh. <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. Can you hold that for a second? Was that, was that good? Was that good? Yeah, that felt good. What year is it? So how did it feel to hit Ryan, your, your, your beloved roommate, in the face with your larping leg? Oh, it's very cathartic. I've been waiting for that moment for a long time. On to the next leg. Moving along. Can I get a drum roll, please? Miles, <laughs> come on down. Cardboard leg. I did see Miles making the cardboard leg throughout the day. He was the one of the first people there, and it was pretty cool to see. Really kind of a complex setup with that leg. It looks like Pinocchio's leg. Am I a real boy? <sighs> Hi, my name is Miles. I made the uh, cardboard leg. I thought it'd be sick. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy oh, shit! What the? On oh, one foot! Yeah! like terrible, right? You have joints. It fit really well, it didn't come off, and yeah, I was actually able to walk on it pretty well. And it had an articulating foot, so when I stepped, the foot would move. It looked like super old timey. He did get docked quite a bit though, because uh, it broke. It was a, still a fun ride while I had it. But you know, it's a fake leg, that's one of the perks. You can walk around and it's broken, and it doesn't hurt at all. I can't feel it at all. He was walking on it fine, and it would ooh nod, and then he, he just stomped through it. And you know, it's just a bunch of it's, it's cardboard and Chinese newspapers. It's, it's an inferior product, and I know it, but god damn it! I don't want to smile. I don't want to smile. Oh. That's all I got left. You know. You know what? I didn't go to college. Perfect. Right in. Right. First impression of the cement block leg. Well, I thought it was pretty dumb. This is also good if you want to kill Ted. <laughs> Ryan might be planning the murder. Put this on Ted and then throw him in the lake. Doing me is not permitted. I have a capability. I can pull this in that capability. I mean, this is my roommate we're talking about. We sleep in the same house every night. Yeah, there will be a penalty if anybody murders me. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> what? Hey. Hey. Right. See that laugh? Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> 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 Ryan called it the immobilizer leg, but I was actually able to, to walk around with it with difficulty. <laughs> Everybody went ape shit. Crushing the can with the immobilizer leg was a real high. It made me feel powerful. It made me feel strong. And I don't think I've ever crushed a can so perfectly. It was like a flat disc afterwards. Feels really good. <laughs> Unfortunately for Dylan, somebody brought out Dylan's can leg. I was just riding off the high of crushing that first can. Yeah. So I just went to town on, on Dylan's can leg and just smashed the <laughs> shit out of it. The high of crushing things with the big cement block leg really made me feel like a, like a cartoon villain. Like mad with power while I'm crushing all this stuff. And I did feel pretty sinister at that moment. Like, you know, Ryan was planning on murdering me with that leg, but I might be able to murder Ryan with that leg. So, okay, next leg, the fan leg. Ooh-wee, the fan leg. That was the worst leg out of all the legs. I'm gonna make Ted a fan leg, a working fan leg. You'll have to go around with a extension cord though, but that's just, that's what you gotta do with the fan leg. Fan leg! First of all, it was literally a box fan with four holes in it. That's it. And it didn't even work. You need to set your I'm just going to do it uh, hand hand. He wanted to plug it in, so the fan's running. And, you know, he might have gotten some points for that. That would have been kind of cool. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of low effort, uh, at least get a working fan. And that worked about as well as you would think it would. Did, it didn't. I'll send you the bill for this. <laughs> We're down to the last two. The next leg is drumroll, please. 
Rebecca! Yes! A plug! So now we have a dildo leg. Or, uh, I'm sorry, butt plug leg. Butt plug leg. Okay, so I suggest pinup posing and not walking. Okay. Hello, my name is Rebecca. I made the butt plug leg or butt plague. My inspiration for the plague leg was butts. Okay. Rebecca, what was your inspiration behind this leg? Butts. <laughs> okay. Everybody has a butt, and most people like butts. And. I did see Rebecca making that leg. Started as a big styrofoam chunk and they were using the bandsaw, the belt sander, all sorts of different stuff. The base is shaped like a heart, so that was a very nice touch. <laughs> Wrong holes. I don't know who's interested. I'm sure there are many takers. Now, what was your idea that maybe somebody would actually have a butthole big enough to have that butt plug put up it? Or is um, it more decorative? All I can say is with enough lube, a lot is possible and it shouldn't hurt. <laughs> we scored very high on style. It was really good looking leg and I felt like a real, uh, sexual being while I was wearing it. I just kind of uh, let the moment take me. I was lost in the butt plug at that time. I kind of blacked out. I don't really even remember wearing that leg because I was so overtaken by the energy of the butt plug leg. Added capability, obviously, it's butt plug leg. They definitely got awarded points for the added capability of being inserted in the anus. Out of applause for Rebecca. Yeah, so Sam made a pizza leg and it was just made from the pizza boxes that we had just finished eating the pizza out of uh, for lunch that afternoon. So, very much a last minute leg. Do you want to tell us your inspiration behind this leg, Sam? Yeah, this is um, a couple of pizza boxes. I came here just for the judging portion and I thought, you know, maybe I can make a leg too. So I did and you guys all ate pizza out of here and uh, there's no pizza left, I'm sorry. Go. <laughs> it seemed like it immediately started breaking and crushing, uh, given the fact that it was made out of pizza boxes. Uh, added capability. I guess it could hold pizza. So there's some capability there, but the pizza would fall out as soon as I started walking on it because they're, they're, they're vertical. Art, so I think that we have accomplished that. Yay! Yay. Ten, 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 
next leg I thought honestly was the most walkable of all the legs. Wood wear again on the I've never been somebody that has a lot of hair. <laughs> and this leg really made me feel macho. I would say that this was better than a real leg. <laughs> Okay, the next leg really made us think, what the hell were you thinking? What's going through your head, man? I mean, what's wrong with you? Unhinged goes to Ryan. <laughs> really, we were just wondering uh, who hurt you. <laughs> it's the Britney Spears Award. <laughs> the ice leg, Andrew. <laughs> I really think that this person's really going places. You have a lot of potential because you're doing a really great job. It goes to Hal. It's not really for a leg or anything. It's just... <laughs> Bigger leg, bigger gun. Next time. Oh yeah. yeah. Bazooka. <laughs> Told you I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew. <laughs> so any reflections two years after the accident? Well, it's weird because it was such a you know I was just thrown into this whole situation, yeah. uh, you know, all of a sudden, and obviously had to get used to it really quickly. Like there's no ignoring or forgetting that I have one leg. So I honestly don't even really remember what it's like having two legs, which is weird to say. I guess my reflection is that, you know, hashtag blessed to be here, uh, life's so fragile. Uh, you know, I can't afford to lose another one, but I'd say that uh, at least for now, uh, I think things are going pretty well. Anything. I guess just a, a one made out of flesh. <laughs> oh!